Welcome back, everyone, to what has been a long while since I've done a Sabaton music reaction. I started out my reactions on this channel with Sabaton. Uh, some of the early stuff I did and some of the uh, very first uh, growth as a subscriber base came from these reactions. So I want to get back to doing some of them in addition to the other content that we're doing. Uh, and this has been one that's uh, have been requested a lot. It's Panzerkampf. Uh, now, uh, having previously done a reaction series on the Battle of Kursk, I'm not going to dive too much into the history because you can see that, and I'll put a link at the end of this video um, and the stuff that pops up at the end to my series reacting to Extra History's uh, study on the Battle of Kursk. And we'll get into their uh, Sabaton history reaction to this as well. But it's a really cool song. It's one I've listened to quite a bit in the car, so I have a little bit of a, a feel for it. But I haven't watched this particular video uh, of it, and I'll put a link in the description to the original content creator who made this video, which seems to be mostly uh, actual footage from the Eastern Front. So I'm excited to dive into this one. Now, first of all, and I'm going to try not to interrupt too much, but it's a reaction channel. It's what I do. Isn't that an awesome introduction to this song, the, kind of the acapella, the into the motherland, the German army marched? I don't know. They just have this real knack for getting the feel for a song just right. And that's the kind of opening I want on a song about a tank battle, the largest, arguably the largest tank battle in all of human history. Yeah, so uh, Soviets were planning to make a major offensive of their own as they're starting to push back uh, toward Germany. Uh, but they understand that the Nazi uh, forces, the German forces, are about to make uh, an attack of their own. And so they allow that to happen. Uh, they've got the salient, the Kursk salient, where uh, the Germans know they can try to do a pincer movement and, and surround these uh, r these Soviet armies and, and trap them. And uh, you can see me kind of stumbling over every so often because the whole Nazi versus German thing and Soviets versus Russians. And I have some people ask me, why do you call the Germans Germans, not Nazis, but you call the Soviets Soviets? Well, the Soviet Union is the actual name of the country, so it's okay. In my mind, the way I see it is. The German army, Germany is the nation. The Nazis are the party that are running that. Uh, in the Soviet Union, that's actually the name, the Union of Soviet Socialist Republics. And so, obviously, they're not all Russians, even though the German army is not all Germans. I understand that. Um, but it's just kind of the way I, I'm going to call them Germans and Soviets. Uh, it just makes the most sense to me. Uh, so they allow this attack to take place and they're putting all these mines out uh they're setting layers of defense so even if the germans break through one layer they can't break through the next uh and then they figure once they've broken the german offensive then they're going to have a counter offensive of their own mines are placed in darkness in the cover of the night waiting to be triggered when the time is right So one of the other things I really love about this song, some of their songs have a ton of detail about what 
the the content is others of them uh, just depending on the nature of the song and the nature of the historic event they're singing about there's not as much detail this is one of those ones that really provides a lot of detail and a lot of historical context to what's going on talking about the mines talking about waiting for them to attack so that then you can counter attack uh you know there's just a lot here Yeah, so, I mean, uh, they talk about the decisive, you know, you can talk about Kursk as being the battle of Kursk, but some of these battles are really more of like uh, a campaign or a series of battles. And and the, the battle of Kursk is fought along several hundred miles of fronts. So it's not a battle the way we think of a battle like Gettysburg or things like that. This is really a major campaign. Uh, and specifically, uh, Prokhorova, I think is how you pronounce that. I could be wrong. Uh, it is the specific battle where uh, the most tanks are involved at one time during Kursk. Uh, and, and what they're doing now is they're going to push the Germans once and for all out of the Soviet Union. And now they're going to take the battle across Poland and eventually into Germany itself. Reinforce the front line. This is a fun one to jam to in the car. Big guitar solo time. So, as I always say, I mean, you know, some bands have epic guitar solos here and there on an album, and then there are bands like Sabaton who have epic guitar solos on every freaking song, and it's I love it. As a guitar player myself, that could never play that well. I play acoustic guitar mostly. Um, just, just love it. Absolutely love it. Uh, and, and there's something cool about that, too, just talking about the music part of it. The music changes a lot on that guitar solo. Like, you know, you know during the the verses in the in the chorus you've got that kind of into the motherland you know it's a certain beat and then when they get to the uh, guitar solo it kind of speeds up and it just kind of makes you feel like okay now they're really pushing the offensive and they're attacking and again just feels like a russian uh the red army song you know it just fits perfectly with the theme
Ah, that's such a good song. I love it. And I mean, it's what you expect from a song called Panzerkampf, you know, tank battle. Um, so, or armor battle, if you will. I uh, just love that. I'll put the link up in the description or up in the uh, uh, above me here uh, to my uh, reaction to the Extra History series on Kursk if you want to know more about the battle. Uh, check out some of my other Sabaton reactions. Hope you enjoyed their music as much as I do. And we'll be back probably about once a week. I'm going to try to do another Sabaton reaction video. Hit that like button on your way out. Thanks for watching.